What does your boss and a saber-toothed tiger have in common? Here we are. It's 10,000 BC. You're walking through the brush when all of a sudden you hear something rustling around you. Whoa! Your flight or fight really engages your body. You start to feel all sweaty in your palms, your heart starts to race, and your body is going through this huge chemical transition. You've got the adrenaline flowing, you've got cortisol, which is a stress hormone flowing. Your eyes are actually getting in on the game. It actually kind of turns you into a superhuman in some ways. Your pupil dilates and that allows you to take in more light and to temporarily see better. The problem, of course, is that we can't live in this constant state of stress arousal. But uh, some people will tell you that this is what's happening in our modern world and our body responds because we keep perceiving these dangers. And they're not really dangers, are they? They're more like paper tigers of the mind. Like, like that cute little guy right there. Um, you know, they're just kind of sort of up there chattering away in our minds. So this is where your boss comes in, okay? Hmm. Uh, he or she is obviously not a saber-toothed tiger. They're probably really lovely people, but if you have a lot of stress going on in your life, if they happen to be hovering above you, ticking off all the things that you need to do, it doesn't really matter to our body that they are paper tigers or not really dangerous because our body doesn't distinguish between the stress response of ye olden days and say just a deadline that you have. It's going to continue to react in a way as if there were a saber toothed tiger in the room with you, even if there isn't. So what's a modern person to do? Well, I don't wanna leave you guys in a negative light here because really, um, you know, stress obviously is bad, but there are lots of things that you can do to combat it. You can do yoga, you could meditate, or exercise. Because if you think back to your ancestors who are sprinting away from that saber-toothed tiger, what are they doing? They are burning off all of those chemicals that are building up in their body because of that stress. And that gives you the power to take down those paper tigers. Okay, so I like to compare my boss to a saber-toothed tiger because he's got glossy hair and nice chompers. Um, but maybe you use a different metaphor for your boss and the stress that you experience. Maybe it's Godzilla. Let us know in the comments below.